The more a photograph reveals, the less you know about the story it hides. Behind celeb stardom and luxurious way of life, numerous tales of failure and downfall combined with persistent effort are there. Here we are showing 40 vintage photos of celebrities in their prime that will inspire you. The first photograph shows iconic 1920s film star Clara Bow on the set of the Fleets Inn with her co-star Richard Arlen and his dog Scotty. She attained stardom in the 1920s silent film era and transitioned smoothly to talkies in 1929. Next we have a photo from 1932 of Bette Davis standing next to her co-star Joan Blondell during a beach shoot for their film Three on a Match. Lillian Harvey strikes a pose on set in 1932. She co-stars in Happy Ever After with Cicely Courtenage and primarily worked on German films. She is best known for her role as Christelle Weinzinger in Eric Scherrell's 1931 film Der Congress Tanz. This photograph shows Mae West with director Raoul Walsh before filming a scene for her 1936 film Klondike Annie. She is known for her breezy sexual independence. You can't take your eyes off the cuteness of this photograph which has 8-year-old child actress Shirley Temple taking a break during a busy day of filming. The actress starred in films like Heidi and the Little Princess throughout her career and starred in the industry at the age of three. This snap from 1936 captures Marlene Dietrich taking a smoke break while wearing a turban for her role in the Garden of Allah. Betty Davis is pictured sinking her feet into the sand while she takes a break while filming a scene in Death Valley, California in the movie The Bridge Came COD in 1941. The actress wasn't exactly dressed appropriately for the beach in her fur-trimmed jacket. A picture of Joan Crawford from the set of Possessed while listening to the notes from director Curtis Bernhardt. The images clearly show the actress in between takes. Knitting needles in her hand is a hobby she enjoys during her downtime on set. This photo from 1947 features Rita Hayworth with her director husband on the Columbia Picture set of their latest movie, The Lady from Shanghai. After being together for four years, the couple granted a divorce shortly after, which took a year to finalize. The following image shows a young actress, Grace Kelly, dressed up as a nurse for an episode of CBS's anthology series, Studio One in Hollywood in 1950. The actress and future Princess of Monaco would move on to starring in films. This snapback from 1951 features co-stars Marlon Brando and Vivian Leigh chatting during a break from filming A Streetcar Named Desire. The Academy nominated The Method Actor, Brando for his character Stanley Kowalski, but he has stated that he disliked playing the character. If you follow certain stars or artists and like to know more about them, here's your chance. On the set of The Bell of New York in 1952, dancer and actress Vera Ellen chats with future First Lady Nancy Reagan while watching Fred Astaire dance during a take. Here we have the trio of stars Lauren Bacall, Betty Grable, and Marilyn Monroe from 20th Century Fox Films' How to Marry a Millionaire take a break during shooting to touch up their makeup and hair. Back in 1954, this picture features Rosemary Clooney catching up with their co-star Bing Crosby who's casually reclining in a director's chair in between filming scenes for White Christmas. Here in this photograph, Audrey Hepburn was sketching on a notepad while filming the film War and Peace in 1956. The actress co-starred with her husband, Mel Ferrer. Lauren Bacall and co-star Gregory Peck were captured posing in this photo by the pool at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where they filmed their 1957 film Designing Women. This picture consists of actress Catherine Ross and co-star Michael Caine watching while the 1977 disaster picture The Swarm is being shot on location. Here you are watching The Darling Lily set, Julie Andrews, the movie's star actress, and Blake Edwards' future wife share a magazine. On the set of A Place for Lovers, filmed on location in the Italian alpine town of Cortina d'Ampezzo in 1968, Faye Dunaway and director Vittorio De Sica laugh together. Mia Farrow gets ready for a Rosemary Baby scenario. For her role in the 1968 movie, the budding actress Frank Sinatra's wife at the time won the Academy Award. In 1966, from the set of The Property is Condemned, a group of makeup artists and hairdressers came upon Natalie Wood to touch her up. Before filming a scene from Le Mepris, legendary French actress Brigitte Bardot checked that her signature blonde bouffant was perfectly styled. This picture was captured in 1963. Tippi Hedren strikes a pose on the set of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds while wearing an olive green outfit and pearls. 
The actress recalls working with the well-known director on the 1963 suspense film Anne Marine a year later, but their professional relationship ends after she refused his sexual advances. In the Roger Vadim film Vice and Virtue, you can see the French actress Catherine Deneveau filming the famous wedding scene. The actress was dating renowned French director Vadim at the time. Following their ultimate breakup, Vadim wed Jane Fonda a year later. Elizabeth Taylor sits on her husband, Eddie Fisher's lap, while he visits her on the set of Cleopatra in Rome. You can see the duo conversing with Taylor's co-star Richard Burton, whom the actress would later leave Fisher to wed. The next photograph shows Orson Welles and his first wife, Virginia Nicholson, spending time together before their divorce in November 1938. Orson Welles was one of the most famous and influential filmmakers. Betty Vickers photographed Elvis signing autographs after his 1956 performance at the Polk Theater in Lakeland, Florida. He is considered one of the 20th century's most influential cultural figures. Here are several more pictures of famous celebs who have touched our lives in different ways in their youthful days. This photo depicts Taina Elk, a dancer, actress, and multiple Golden Globe winner, born in Finland and who had a significant presence on television for many years. Her well-known film role was probably in the suspense thriller The 39 Steps Taken in 1958. Famous American actress Mary Tyler Moore is in this picture. She is best known for her work on The Dick Van Dyke Show and The Mary Tyler Moore Show. In this image, Bernie Taupin and Elton John, who wrote the songs together, are shown on the right. It was taken on April 26, 1973, during a ceremony where gold discs for four of their jointly authored albums were presented to them. Here you can see Sophia Loren taking a break from shooting A Breath of Scandal in 1960 movie. The Italian actress wore a full-length ball gown, elbow-length gloves, and a tiara. Here's another picture captured from 1960 from the Warner Brothers set. Jane Fonda and Anthony Perkins have a conversation while they enjoy a coffee break. From the set of the 1957 movie The Wayward Bus, Jane Mansfield and Joan Collins emerge from a trailer. One of Mansfield's first significant cinema appearances was in the adaptation of John Steinbeck's novel. Here's an image showing Ava Gardner from the set of The Sun Also Rises, which was shot in France and Spain. She rests and takes a break with a Coca-Cola. On the Rebel Without a Cause set, Natalie Wood, then a child actor, had some time with James Dean, another child actor. This picture was shot in 1955. In the picture taken in 1955, Grace Kelly and renowned director Alfred Hitchcock have tea together on the set of To Capture a Thief. This photo was captured in 1971, when Isabella Rossellini was 19 years old, and she was on the set of her father's historical drama, Blaise Pascal. She had been an astounding guest actress in a drama series. Marlon Brando can be seen waving to the cameras in this photo from the London film premiere of A Countess from Hong Kong in 1967. In 1986, Angelica Hudson accepted her Oscar for playing May Rose in Prizzy's Honor. She's an American director and actor, renowned for frequently playing unusual and odd characters. Catherine Deneveau, a French actress who also occasionally performs as a singer, model, and producer, is regarded as one of the best actresses in Europe. She's shown here in 1966 on the set of Jacques Demy's The Young Girls of Rochefort with her sister, Francois Dorliac. That's all for today's video. For more such interesting content, give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Subscribe to us for more such content, and we'll see you in the next one.